I'm passionate about Google Cloud, data, software craftsmanship, functional programming. Also, I am a PSG fine, as you can see here. Uh, you can also follow me if you want uh, on Twitter or LinkedIn. Sorry my, for my French accent. Uh, little words about the, the, the context. My previous customer worked on uh, uh, GCP on ha had many Spark data proc batch jobs. Uh, at this time, there, there were some issues with Spark jobs, uh, some bad design like Spark streaming on bucket and some memory usage problem. Also, we had the need to develop some custom connectors, for example, to with Spark Scala to, to write data to, to, to Spanner. Uh, also, uh, at this time, our uh, customer wanted to, to, to change batch job to streaming job. Also, the, the strategy was to be uh, cloud native. Uh, we, we had an issue. Spark structured streaming was not compatible with the cloud pub uh, Spark, uh, Spark Daystream was compatible, but not Spark structured streaming. And our job at this time was developed with Spark Structured Streaming. Uh, the team wanted to do, uh, to do a POC on Apache Beam and Dataflow at this time. And also the team used to work with GVM languages like Scala and uh, Java. About the, the POC on uh, Apache Beam. Firstly, I did a POC uh, for a Data Mart database design was with CIO. Uh, CIO is a Scala wrapper on Beam by Spotify. Why? Uh, because the, the team used to work with, with Spark Scala. It's an interesting choice and it produced a good code. But finally, uh, the team decided to use Beam native with Java as the key. The goal for, uh, for us was to be very near to the, to the native SDK in order to be more confident, learn native code, and have more documentation on the, the web. And uh, also the, the team chose Java instead Python for the reason explained before uh, the, for, uh, for GVM. About the, the architecture. I was in charge to, to propose a BIM boilerplate code and architecture to the team. The, as, at this time, the Scala code was mostly oriented with inheritance design and without code decoupling. Uh, also, uh, for, for this customer, uh, we had many, many transformation on business rules. That's why I, um, I proposed an hexagonal architecture and domain-driven design. I will explain this concept. Here we can see a schema. Uh, at the middle, uh, we have an hexagon. The, this hexagon isolates the business logic. And at the right side, we have the infrastructure technical code uh, called adapters. And also uh, at, the, at the left side, we have the application layer. In the case of uh, a BIM application, the application uh, layer contains the, the main uh, entry point class and also, for example, a class that composes all the pipeline. At the middle, it's all the business logic, all the, 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 the business code and domain code. And at, at the right, all the technical parts like database, file, IOs, uh, and other. Uh, which are the advantages of hexagonal architecture on DDD? Uh, firstly, with this archi architecture, we can do an isolation of business domain part. We can also isolate the infrastructure and technical part. Uh, uh, the, the responsibilities are very uh, clear for developers. We have a, a domain layer with the business rules and also the te technical infrastructure layer. 
And when we want to update any part, is 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 easier, and uh, it allows us to to a better handling of code complexity. Uh, if the technical part evolves, there is no impact on the domain uh, part. Uh, the domain part can be easily tested separately. We can, for example, test uh, some uh, pure Java or Python code with business rules. Uh, we can easily mock the infrastructure part uh, via code decoupling, thanks to code de decoupling. Also, uh, we can test uh, some pieces together. About some words about dependency injection. The dependency injection is a concept that's allowing code decoupling with contract and interfaces. The IOC, inversion of control, is a concept that we delegate the instantiation of classes to, uh, 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 to a framework or an API. The, um, the instantiation of class is not done directly in the application code, but is delegated to a framework. And uh, it's very interesting because we can have code decoupling. We can work with interfaces. For example, the domain layer will uh, work um, with connectors and interfaces. And uh, the domain code can, uh, in this case, um, doesn't know the, the technical uh, part, for example. Uh, at this time, I investigate a lot of uh, dependencies in the Java uh, community. There is many popular libraries of framework, Spring, CDI, Juice, and Dagger2. Some explanation about these uh, dependencies. Spring is very popular in the Java community. The dependency injection for Spring is done at runtime. For an application like Beam, Spring is not interesting because if you, you, you add Spring core on Spring DI in the POM XML file for Maven, for example, some uh, transitive dependencies are, um, are pulled and uh, is heavy. Um, that's why I, uh, we, 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 we didn't choose Spring. CDI is the native dependency injection in Java. Uh, it's done, the dependency injection is done at uh, uh, runtime. We didn't choose CDI2 for the reason of runtime. Uh, Google Juice is a very lightweight dependency injection framework proposed by Google. It's interesting, lightweight, but done at, uh, at runtime. And uh, finally, uh, we choose uh, Dagger2 because the dependency injection is done at compile time, is very performant. Uh, there is an existing Maven plugin for Dagger2. Uh, this library is maintained by Google. And uh, Dagger2 propose a flexible system with modules and components. Uh, about the, the feedback uh, after the migration for our team. Uh, Beam is simple for G GVM developers. Only uh, two uh, big concepts, uh, uh, pay collections and transformation. We can easily uh, do some code separation with uh, p-transform classes. Uh, p-transform classes can contain a composition of transformation. Uh, also, uh, uh, Beam propose a better support for streaming with the same code base uh, between batch and streaming. Uh, the, the compatibility with GCP uh, with Dataflow Runner is full. Uh, native IO are proposed, uh, uh, compatibility with cloud login. And uh, the Dataflow Runner with auto-scaling metrics and monitoring allow developers to be more focused on the, on the code logic and now for the infrastructure part. Also, uh, Beam with Dataflow Runner uh, allows to be serverless and no cluster to manage. The inconvenient uh, for us was uh, Beam Java is uh, more verbose than Spark Scala. And with the bad use of Lambda expression, 
the code can be less readable. If, for example, we write some lambda body uh, without a, a big readability, the code can be less uh, readable. Uh, I'm going to show you a, a, a real application with uh, an example of application with BIM and hexagonal architecture and DDD. Okay. I firstly show you uh, an application with, uh, with Java, with native Java BIM. And after this, I will present the same module with Python. Maybe I can zoom the code. Okay. okay, about the architecture. We have uh, three layers, application, domain, and infrastructure. Uh, I firstly show you the, 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 the goal of this module. The goal of this module is to handle a team leak. It's a little use case. Uh, I can show you an example of files. I have, for example, a team stat row data, uh, uh, a list of teams with scorers per team. And the, the, the goal of these modules is to, to compute a team stat domain object, final domain object. And the, the final domain object is uh, the team stat with the top scorer the best passer, and also the total uh, goals per team. A little use case. Huh? Okay. About the layers, we have the domain layer. The domain layer is a pure Java code. There is no framework, pure Java code. And uh, I have a bonded context. My bonded context is the team league application. I defined some object. For example, I have a team stat row object here. And I have, for example, a little validator here. And the, the goal is to compute the team stat final object. I have here the, the business rules with pure Java code. I compute team stat from the team stat row. The business logic is is uh, pushed in the, the POJO directly in the object, team stat. I, uh, I, I compute, for example, the top scorer, the, the, the best passer, and uh, I use Lombok here. Uh, uh, Lombok give me, for example, the, the builder pattern here in order to have a good, read a good readability. With the builder pattern, I can do a composition of field here and build my final object. Also, um, I create uh, um, um, a package that contains domain p transform class because the pure domain, I need to, to take the pure domain code and bring this code in the beam world. And um, in the beam world, I have a separated p transform class here. Uh, team stat transform, for example, it takes an input team stat row and return and final team stat domain object. I compose my three transformation here, my first validation, compute team stat mapper, and at the end, I had the slogan to my team. For example, for Paris Saint-Germain, Paris is magic. For Real Madrid, Hala Madrid. Okay. And um, here, my domain P transform contains interfaces. These interfaces correspond to connectors. The domain, the domains here are isolated. Domain doesn't know application and infrastructure, but infrastructure and application know uh, domains. The domain pitch transform class contains uh, some interfaces. We have, for example, a team stat file IO uh, that read uh, uh, team stat row data 
from a file. I also have a TeamStat in memory uh, connector, in memory, and uh, yes. And also for this example, I have a connector that retrieves a TeamStat raw data from uh, a topic. Uh, the technology is not indicated here because the domain doesn't know the technology. The, there are connectors and the infrastructure part here bring some adapters. For example, for file, I can connect firstly an adapter from a JSON file. I have an adapter here from JSON file. My adapter implements the connector and uh, the contract of the connector is a read that return a pay collection of TeamStat Pro. I have a ptransform class here that contains the logic to retrieve data from JSON file. Uh, I have, for example, I read data from JSON file and uh, I deserialize the data to uh, TeamStart Row object. I also an adapters for uh, for CSV file. I have my adapter here. I call my transform class, and the transform class contains all the technical logic from to retrieve data from a CSV file. Also, I have a BigQuery a database I/O connector, and uh, the adapter. I connect the BigQuery adapter. The BigQuery adapter contains all the technical logic to write TeamStat data to BigQuery. For example, today I have BigQuery, but maybe another time, if I go to another database, I can unconnect the adapter BigQuery and connect a Cloud SQL adapter instead. No, we, uh, I'm going to show you after this the application layer. The application layer contains the main of the application here. We have the options, we instantiate the pipeline, we also um, have uh, uh, the, the dependency, dependency tree offered by Dagger2. And uh, my app use a classes called TeamLeak Pipeline Composer. And the responsibility of this class is to take all the connectors, inject the connectors via dependency injection, and compose all the elements of the pipeline. I read data, I call ptransform class, and write data to a database. And I'm going to show you the injection part with Dagger2. The entry point of Dagger2 is uh, a component class. The component class, we can inject ex ex external object to the component class. Here, I inject the external beam option into the dependency injection framework because I can build another object from pipeline uh, option offered by beam because some object controlled by us is more easily mockable. And the entry point proposed by Dagger is the pipeline composer class. Also, the, the component use uses some modules. I have the principal module here, and the principal module contain a module uh, for I.O. and for configuration. My uh, module here for I.O. Um, with Dagger2, we have my database I.O. connector, and I connect my BigQuery adapter to my, connect, to my connector. But also, I have here the TeamStat file I.O. connector. I connect my JSON file adapter, but I can also connect a CSV file I.O. adapter instead. And unconnect CSV, I connect, uh, I unconnect JSON, I connect CSV. I can easily unplug, unplug other adapters to some connectors. It's okay, and um, 
okay, for the architecture. The advantage to have a separated P transform class business class, I can easily test my class here with a dedicated test class. For example, I will, uh, I will show you uh, 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 testing for good cases with the given when then uh, uh, naming convention for testing, given input team, input teams uh, state row without error, when call my transform, then expected output in result. I have my input here. It corresponds to a mock. I can easily propose some input files and expected files here. I mock my inputs. I call my P transform class. And at the end, I do the assertion with BIM. Okay. It's okay for the, the Java part. Um, I will run the application with direct runner. I have a direct runner that will launch the job and uh, that will ingest TeamStat data to a BigQuery uh, table. Uh, for this example, I um, prefer to use direct runner to gain time. Um, I run my job and my, my job is finished. I have my final BigQuery table here. I open, I have previous data, but um, my data is here. I ingested my uh, PSG and Real Madrid here. I have my team slogan. I have the, the, the top scorer is Karim Benzema for Real Madrid and Kylian Mbappé for PSG. I also have the best passer, Marco Verratti and Luka Modric. Also, I, I will uh, change my input in my pipeline composer class here. Instead of file IO connector, I will use my topic IO connector here and the domain code is not impacted. Uh, I will run my streaming direct job instead the batch. I run my job. I also have a little script that I publish messages to a topic here. Uh, with jcloud, I publish, I read uh, a JSON file and I publish some message to the topic. And um, the, uh, the code is not impacted. Uh, for example, here about the, my shell export connection. Mm, here. Team. Java DDD, okay, and and here I connect my code and CD script and I publish my messages to uh, to PubSub here and um, normally I will ingest. Uh, team stat. The, the time in order to refresh the, the, the table. Yes, I ingested new data uh, uh, from the, the streaming file. I will stop my job here. And to finish, I will show you the, the, same, the same architecture, the same orientation the same direction with different language, Python, and different SDK, BIM Python SDK. And, and the, the, the goal is, is to show you that we can have the same architecture, the same direction, the same code isolation with different language and different SDK. Uh, I have my team league application. I have the, the, the same folders here, the application layer, with the pipeline composer class and the main, the main here. I am a main, 
and the main use an entry point for the pipeline composer here. The pipeline composer uses dependency injection with all my connectors and compose all the pipeline here. Also, the dependency injection, uh, uh, an open source library is proposed to do dependency injection with Python. We define some blocks for IO transform, for adapters here, and for the block pipeline. The, block pli the pipeline block um, take adapters, external configuration, and propose the entry point of the application that is the pipeline composer class. The domain, as, as the Java part, the domain contains a team stat row data. Here, I use the data class with Python. The validator here. Also, I have the team stat final object here. The same rules as the Java part. I have a compute team stat here that take a row object and return a team stat domain object. I compute the top scorer best passer uh, here and return my final object here. And for the, the, the P transform uh, layer, the principle is, is the same. I have my, my connector interfaces here, database IO connector, my file here in memory. Also, I have my business P transform class here that compose my transformation. I validate input fields. I compute my TeamStat domain data. I had the slogan to TeamStat. Also, here, I think it's okay for the application layer. Uh, I will clear data and rerun the Python job um, to do a runtime with Python 2. I truncate my data and here I have my Python DDD batch direct job in the pipeline composer. My input is from a file and I will read my file and write it to my final BigQuery table. I run my job. with direct runner. Okay, I'm going to open my table. I will load my, my the same data as for the Java part, PG and Real Madrid. And at the end, I will do the same for the streaming part. I will unload my file, file connector. I will replace it by my topic IO connector. And uh, I will run the streaming direct job here. And Python DDD. Okay. Support. Okay. CD script. Okay, and uh, dot slash publish. I load my messages to PubSub. I ingested my uh, my data, the the data from the the, the 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 topic. I can also show you the data flow job here. Python, Java and Python maybe. Up. Not the good. Okay, at finish I will run the, the job with the with the uh, data flow runner instead of a direct runner. Uh, for example, with Python. Up. Okay, here I will stop my streaming. I will use my file connector. In the readme file, I have 
a command line that run my job with a batch for Python. I run my job. It takes some time to instantiate the job, but I uh, wanted to show you only the, the graph with uh, with data flow, data flow runner. Java DDD. There is an error, maybe. Maybe I can do the same with Java. I'm from the readme of Java here. I will run the job with Dataflow runner. Oh la la, there is an error. Okay, maybe the demo effect. Uh, maybe fine, I go here. My job, job will be instantiated, and I think if I open the data flow page here, my job will be instantiated. Up, my team league app is here. The Python job is here too. I have the graph for the the Python part. Read the data. The business speed transform class with validation, computation, and the slogan to teams, and the data that is written to uh, to BigQuery at end, and uh, the the diagram for also for Java. The same uh, the same graph for the Java part. I read team. Uh, from a file, I have my pre-transform class, and I write the data to a BigQuery. I think it's okay, okay. for me. Uh, I published also uh, the code to my uh, personal uh, GitHub account. You can uh, clone the two projects, Java Team League, Java DDD Beam Submit, and Python DDD Beam Submit 2. We can uh, work with these modules, clone these modules, and check uh, by yourself the architecture with DDD and domain-driven design and, and uh, hexagonal architecture. Don't hesitate to give me some feedbacks uh, about uh, this architecture. Uh, we I, we use, used it in my previous customer, and today we also use this architecture from my big customer L'Oreal in French uh, with Apache Beam. And uh, when we have many business roles and uh, domain roles, I think this architecture is very interesting. Okay, thank you.